Let us discuss how to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis for a given statement or situation or a scenario. But before that, let us first familiarize the symbols to be used for the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So for the null hypothesis, we'll be using the symbol mu sub 1 is equal to mu sub 2, meaning the two means are equal or the parameters are equal. And for the uh, alternative hypothesis, we'll be using mu sub 1 is not equal to mu sub 2 when it is non-directional and it is a two-tailed. We'll be using mu sub 1 is greater than mu sub 2 when it is directional and it is a right tail. And we'll be using mu sub 1 is less than mu sub 2 when it is a directional and it is a left tail. Let's have an example. Say a car dealership announces that the mean time for an oil change is 15 minutes. So for this given scenario, our null hypothesis will be the mean time for an oil change is 15 minutes. In symbol we have mu is equal to 15 minutes. And for the alternative hypothesis, it will be the mean time for an oil change is not 15 minutes. In symbol, we're going to use mu is not equal to 15 minutes because it is non-directional and it is a two-tailed. We can also use other alternative hypotheses like the mean time for an all change is less than 15 minutes. In symbol, we can use mu is less than 15 minutes because it is directional and it is a left tail. Another, the mean time for an all change is more than 15 minutes. In symbol, we have mu is greater than 15 minutes because it is also directional and it is a right tail. Let's have another example. Say, according to the recent study, the average life expectancy of male Filipino is 71 years. So, for our null hypothesis, it will be the average life expectancy of male Filipino is 71 years. And for the alternative hypothesis, we can have the average life expectancy of male Filipino is not 71 years. Or the average life expectancy of male Filipino is less than 71 years or the average life expectancy of male Filipino is greater than 71 years. Let's have this next example. The owner of a factory claims that the average capacity of their bottled fruit juice is 250 ml. To test the claim, a consumer group gets a sample of 100 bottles. Calculate the capacity of each bottle and then find the mean capacity to be 240 ml. So let's have the given. So our population mean or mu is equal to 250 ml. And our sample mean, based on the computed capacity of each bottle, it is equal to 240 ml. And so, for this given scenario, our null hypothesis is mu is equal to 250 ml and for our alternative hypothesis it is mu is not equal to 250 ml because as we have noticed the parameter and the statistic are not equal thus we can also state that mu is less than 250 ml because the sample mean is actually 240 ml. We can also use a table to represent the population mean, the sample mean, the null hypothesis, the type of test, 
and the alternative hypothesis. So here, our population mean in symbol we have 250 ml. Our sample mean is 240 ml. And for the null hypothesis, mu is equal to 250 ml. In words, the average capacity of bottled fruit juice is 250 ml. For the type of test, we have directional or it is a one-tailed or left-tailed. In words, it indicates a decrease. And for the alternative hypothesis, we're going to use the symbol mu is less than 250 ml because it is a left tail. And in words, the average capacity of bottled fruit juice is less than 250 ml. And if the test is non-directional or a two-tailed, our alternative hypothesis is in symbol, we have mu is not equal to 250 ml. And in words, the average capacity of bottled fruit juice is not 250 ml. Now let's have this last example. A researcher wants to know if there is a significant difference between the academic performance of students from private schools and students from public schools. So, our null hypothesis will be, there is no significant difference, sorry, the word difference was omitted. Again, it should be, there is no significant difference between the academic performance of students from private and public schools. In symbols, we have mu sub 1 is equal to mu sub 2. And for the alternative hypothesis, we have there is a significant difference between the academic performance of students from private and public schools. In symbol, we have mu sub 1 is not equal to mu sub 2.